for the most of my life, I have felt instability. I'm Syrian and I spent most of my life outside of my country. I immigrated with a big dream and I hope I can achieve this dream in here. When I first immigrated to Canada, I was a bit lost of what uh, could I do, how could I start my work life. I have a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. I was graduated with an owner, but it was very hard for me as a newcomer to find opportunities, although I have an, more than two years international experience. I had a couple of friends who advised me to start uh, working as a gig worker as it's a very good opportunity for me as an immigrant. So I deliver a food and grocery through different platforms. It was good until the COVID happened. Due to COVID-19, I was impacted in a continuous delay on my work permit and permanent residence. And this is controlling all aspects of my life. I don't have an access to healthcare due to this immigration delays. I just was too scared that I would contract COVID and I would give it back to my family when I go home. And that was very, hard for me but I talked to some family members I had support I was like I need to make myself stronger because if I didn't go through this pandemic then I'm not strong enough as I thought I, I am. During the lockdowns many people have stayed at home and we worked really hard to deliver essential to their home it was really good feeling that I'm helping the country to do something about the crisis we are in so that we can stop the spread of COVID-19. Gig workers are really suffering day by day and it's becoming harder day by day. I feel that we are so much underestimated. No one cares about us. So that's the reason we have the power and energy and we are angry, we need to get our rights. We don't have paid sick days. We don't have health insurance. We don't have anything. And sometimes our wages are less than a minimum wage. Especially during the pandemic, a lot of delivery platforms have cut our wages, although we're working as an essential workers and we are sacrificing our lives to deliver essential for people. So uh, I try to help in whatever way I can to encourage gig workers to talk about their problems, to find a way so we can fix the problem or to do anything to help these couriers. And I also helped in building the uh, data structure in the Gig Workers United. We're trying our best and I believe we can reach somewhere uh, by the continuous fight. I felt that I need to do something. I need to support my community, especially during the pandemic. I volunteered to deliver over 200 food boxes weekly to farmers all over Ontario. I also volunteered uh, to deliver planting equipment to children to spread the happiness between children because kids nowadays, they, they were affected in so many ways. I have learned how much it's important for the community to collaborate together to survive this pandemic. Loneliness is really hard and socializing is important for us to stay strong and to keep going.
without the community, I would have been lost. I wouldn't know what's the best place to do something or get something. So I feel like getting involved in the community for immigrants is the most important thing for us to do. In Canada, I can be the person I always dreamed of being. There are so many opportunities for me to grow and learn. Whatever my nationality or my religion or my color is, I feel welcomed. This has given me a big power to work and be a person who always serve the community and help to be a better person for this country.